away with red. And straight in, no touch of gloves there from Rosamin. Straight right from him. Answered well by Van Hoof to his credit though, John. Yeah, Van Hoof, southpaw fighter. Rosamin with the straight right, the correct technique that you would adopt against the southpaw. He's hurt him there. See Van the Hoof. difference in punches, excuse me, John. When when Rosamin landed, Van Hoof stayed tight, just, just ducked down. Whereas when Van Hoof landed, then Rosamin almost turned his back there. Might show that he perhaps will wilt under pressure, we'll see. Yeah, on his bike a little bit, just going backwards. Van Hoof looks very thick set actually at the weight, Dave. Yeah, it looks huge at the weight. Oh, that was a, a good quick leg kick. Going high this time. We well, got caught again with that right hand. He does have good head movement, but needs to actually use it to good effect as well. Slip those punches. Yeah, taking a bit of time. Looks more settled now, does Hoof. Nice through the hands, ended on a low kick, landed. Good work from him. I just fear a bit for Rosamin rushing in there, John. I mean, he's had success with the right hand, but if he gets countered, he's really going to walk onto something. Well, time shall tell. But the hoof is coming forward with a barrage of punches and just shrugs off the defensive attempts of Rosamin. Oh, that inside leg kick looked to stray a little bit. Unintentional. Nice feints from Hoof. As you see, Roseman, he, he leads him with that right hand. It's a good weapon for him, but he's got to be careful of not being too predictable. Yeah, he's got to stop admiring it as well when he's thrown it. Yeah. Start moving off to the side. Yeah, Rosamin is very much an in-out sort of point-scoring fighter by the looks of things, looking to land single shots, whereas the hoof is a little bit more settled, got his base down, maybe looking to set something up. Yeah, I think Michael McGarry, who's down there at Koken Gym, I believe, more of a sort of traditional striking background, your, your karate and, and that sort of thing, if I'm not mistaken. And that is how Rosamin seems to be setting up here compared to Van Hoof, who's more of a traditional Western boxing style. Yeah, you've got you to match it with movement, though. Fighters like Lyoto Machida can do it because they're in and out very, very quickly indeed. You, you can't stay planted. If you attack and you're still in that space, you're going to get tagged. And Hoof has now closed that space. I'd like to see what he's got in his wrestling quarters. Both fighters are... Checking out their gloves. The referee resets. Beautiful Ooh, right, right hand, hand at the top. He's hurt. Turning his back again, John. Yeah, that's not a good sign when a fighter turns his back. We saw a fight stopped earlier in the evening in one of our female contests for the very same thing. Oh, it is a good straight right, but again, he's, he needs to follow it up with something. If you've done the good work to land the right hand, why not? Why not throw the left hook? I think he may have a fractured nose, Roseman. A bit of swelling towards the top of the nose, that massive looping overhand punch from Van Hoof. And Roseman was grabbing onto the shorts, which you are not permitted to do. Last 10 seconds of this opening round. And the hoof tried to put his hoof onto Roseman's bonce. Well, let's see if he takes on board those instructions. So look out for that kick, and then the right hand. Well, he's got caught coming in, got caught wanting and reaching. Yeah, we mentioned it in the first round, John, that's always gonna be the risk with this style. If Van Hoof, with his power, catches him coming in, could be devastating result. And I think the Koyokin corner needs to be more specific. I think what they wanted was an outside kick onto that lead leg. And then you can work from there to plant the right hand, not inside, because your body weight's in the wrong position to then throw that right hand. Mike and Van Hoof here, taking the center of the cage, working well, Roseman again. Wow. Well, Credit straight into an arm in guillotine. Yeah, trying something different. Recognized he was perhaps losing those exchanges. And Gonna use it in. to try and sweep. 
Nice hip bump. Yeah. The basics done there by the by Van Hoof. And he's in mount position. Oh, I'd like to see him go to work here, but perhaps looking for a setup for a head and arm. He moves off to the side. It's gonna that cage is gonna get in his way a little bit. He can get off to an angle here. There's the tap. It is all over. Gareth Van Hoof showed us what he was about on the feet, but decides to finish it with a submission. Nice display from him.